Who do you think will have their heads turned in Kasha Moore? This is an interesting one. I hate to say it, and it's gonna sound controversial. Hey, this is Arabella, and this is Text on the Beach with Cosmo UK. I've got a text! Hey Arabella, so what was the best thing about being on Love Island? The best thing probably was about being on Love Island was probably meeting everybody obviously that was there. I met Lucy who's definitely become a really, really close friend of mine and I'm very excited to see her on the outside. And obviously kind of starting the relationship with Danny, um, I'm quite excited to kind of see what happens on the outside. It was still very early days so it's, it's hard to kind of say what might happen but I'm definitely going to meet up with him when he's out and have a chat and kind of see what happens. What was the worst thing about being on Love Island? The worst thing that stands out to me definitely has to be, obviously, when I went in there, I, the guy obviously I wanted to couple up with was already in a couple. So obviously having to kind of tread on you one day's toes, that was, that was definitely the worst thing because in the outside world, I would never do that to a girl. Like I've had it done to me and it's a horrible feeling. And then obviously, because all of her friends were supporting her, it put me in quite a difficult position, having just gone in and obviously trying to make friends with them. So yeah, that was definitely, that was pretty tough. Oh, if Danny wasn't in the villa, who would you have coupled up with? God, that's a difficult one. Do you know what? Obviously, I feel like I should say Anton because he was obviously the guy I kind of picked as a date. But I, after having kind of got to know him more, I realised it was more of a friendship. So if it was, it's a really, God, that's a really t tricky one. It'd be really hard to say a name because I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's like, it would have been like kissing your brother. <laughs> I actually don't know. Um, anyone who's gone into Castle Moor that like the, the look of, probably Dan or Denon. They're definitely like my like rugged type of look that I go for. Were you disappointed that Danny didn't leave the villa with you? Um, do you know what? I wasn't. We kind of, you know, we went in there as separate people. Obviously, we both wanted to find love in there. And I felt like we did found, find a connection with each other. But I actually felt like if he had left the villa with me, I felt like there would have been like pressure on the relationship. Because I would have felt like because he'd left, I felt like it would have just been that, that, that ultimate pressure to make it work because he'd made such a big decision. So I'm actually really glad that, you know, he's staying in there. He's doing what he needs to do. We'll see what happens when he comes out and then just take it from there. Do you think you were wrong to get to know Danny even though he was coupled up with you one day? I don't think, no. I think you have to go in there and you have to go with your gut. Going in as a bombshell, you, you have to tread on people's toes. It's a horrible feeling, but you have to do it. You can't just couple up with someone for the sake of it just because they're single, because then you're not following your heart. You're kind of just taking an easy option and then I feel like you're not really in it for the right reasons. So for me, as hard as it was treading on you on those toes, it was something I had to do. What was it like appearing on After Sun with you one day? I feel like people were like hyping it up to like become a thing. It was like, you, there was never an issue between Yuande and I. It was more of an issue between like Danny and Yuande and me. Like, I felt like Danny was like the middle person and because obviously he hadn't told Yuande the truth, I felt like it was Danny that was the issue, not really between Yuande and I. Like we're both just normal people that obviously both like the same guy, but there was no, there's no hard feelings between us. And yeah, we just got on really, really well. You, do you know what, Yuande and I were talking, I was like, he could have played it really, really well. And actually he, cause he's gonna come out more hate, like hated more now because of the fact that obviously for him, it's very much like if he'd gone, do you know what? I've made a mistake once with you one day. I found Arabella, I actually want to pursue something with her. I feel like he would have come out a lot better because then people would have gone, do you know what? Good on you, mate. You actually followed your heart, you went for something. But now I feel like now he's gone for a third person. It's like third time lucky. I just feel like I'm like, is he that, has he been that genuine with one day and then me to then be able to switch again? It just makes you kind of question him as a person a little bit. Who do you think will have their heads turned in Kasha and Moore? This is an interesting one. I hate to say it, and it's going to sound controversial, but I think Michael. I really, after last night's episode, I feel like, I feel like he's like decided that he doesn't want to put up with Amber's like immaturity anymore. And I think that it's one of those situations, I honestly think it's going to be a Josh and Kaz moment of last year. I feel like she's kind of, she, I feel like she doesn't let him be himself. Like even when I went in there, I felt like I couldn't really get to know Michael. Yeah, I, I just think that now Amber's obviously away and taken out of the picture that I do feel like his head will turn. But obviously there's been a bit of conflict between like people thinking Curse's head's gonna turn. I don't think it will. I think he's just being a typical guy that's in a villa full of girls, just like, oh my God, my head. I mean, look at them, they're gorgeous. So I think for him, he's just like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? But I, d I really don't think his head will turn. Which islander had the most annoying habits or was the hardest to live with? 
So the first night I spent with Danny, in that bedroom, it was like an orchestra. Michael's snore, I've never really heard anything like it. It was like an animal was in the room. Like, it was literally like one person would snore, and then the other person would set, like, start off, and it was, it just didn't really go. It wasn't like normal snore. I don't really know what it was. It was like, I was like, what? Danny and I were like, what the hell is, like, we literally sat up in bed and we were like, what is that? Like, where's it coming from? Yeah, it was, it was a very interesting snore noise. And then he kept waking himself up because obviously it was that loud. That was definitely the most annoying habit in there. Who do you want to win? I think Tommy and Molly. I just feel like they've just got everything. They've just got, they've got the looks, they've got the personality. They've just, I just think they're like the perfect couple. He's like besotted by her. Like it, it's so cute. I mean, even like when he's sleeping outside with, Ellie Bear, like honestly, it's, it's just so cute. So I feel like they're really genuine. I do feel like Curtis and Amy are really, really genuine. They're just a very different type of couple. They're just, they're, they're kind of unique, but in their own way, but it kind of works. And I would be so happy if they did win it. So I definitely, I think, yeah, I think they've got a very, very good chance. If you like what you saw today, subscribe to Cosmo's YouTube channel.